Welcome to my channel. This is my every single day makeup tutorial. A lot of people think that guys shouldn't wear makeup and that is definitely not my opinion. I think makeup is for everyone. It is so much fun and it, there's so many different toys and tools you can play with and techniques you can try and it's it's just really like a blast to do and I, I love doing it every morning for myself. You don't have to do it to feel beautiful but if you want to then that's fine. It's awesome actually. <laughs> So watch me do step by step as I show you how to get this look and then I'll have a bunch of me's running around. My very favorite part of doing my makeup are my eyebrows. I find it very therapeutic in the morning and I like to take my time with it and make as sharp of a shape as I possibly can because that's what I like. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills just about like everyone else with a medium brown and the angle brush that you can buy with it. I take a little bit of product on my brush and I swipe it back and forth on the cap just so that it's evenly distributed throughout the brush and then I take it and I start to slowly brush from the inside corner because I really want to make this line super sharp. Gradually just pick up a little bit more each time. For me, this is not a race. I'll wake up an hour early sometimes just so I can do the eyebrows and take my time with it because it really puts me in a good mood for the rest of the day. I'll keep certain things in mind when I'm doing this, like trying to match this arc here as the arc on top, just so it lifts the eye upwards. Another one is that I'll make sure I put less product here and more here so there's a nice ombre, keeping the center of the face lit, like we're gonna be doing with the rest of the highlighting and contouring. I used to keep a really square, thick brow in the front, and looking back on Facebook pictures now, I wish I had never done that. Also, don't go looking for them. Now you take the back of the brush and I just blend upwards from the lines that I've made just so everything looks consistent and even. And that's kind of the only place that I'll put product here is by taking some from somewhere else on the brow and putting it onto that area. Okay, I could do this forever, so I'm gonna have to stop and start the next step. I take my Cover FX Stick Concealer in the color G20, and then I take a Morphe angle brush, and I swipe back and forth onto the concealer, just to cover both sides equally. For this step, it takes a lot of careful precision and time, so I just go in and I clean up all of those lines that I did before, because I like a really sharp brow If you think you've cut away too much or you just want to clean it up again, you can go back in with your eyebrow brush. Okay, so after a lifetime of filling and correcting and filling and correcting, I'm finally happy with one eyebrow and I will come back when the other one is done just so you don't have to watch this a second time. Okay, that one went a lot easier. I honestly think that me and my eyebrows are in a relationship and this one likes me and this one just doesn't yet, so. We're gonna work on it in the future. We're really working through our issues right now. Okay, <laughs> moving on. The next step uh, is foundation. I'm using this Sephora foundation in the color Light 20, uh, just because it is the one that matches me the best right now. It's not my favorite consistency. I actually prefer this Makeup Forever one, but I am, as you can see, not this color anymore. It was a summertime foundation, and this is one I purchased in the winter. And I just place it all around my face, and then I start to just tap it in, pretending my finger is pretty much a beauty blender. It's so tricky picking a foundation because I found that everyone I, I put on my skin in the first place looks right and then it changes because of the oxidation process. So it's all really a guessing game and you have to spend a lot of time in a makeup store just waiting for the air to hit your, your makeup to change to see if you look crazy or if it matches your neck or not. Just filling and filling just to make sure I have an even coverage throughout my entire 
face. And then I'll blend it down lightly into the beard area, just so that it's not such a jarring transition. Sometimes I just cake it on because we want to look flawless, so I'll cover my eyelids, and at this point I'm starting to blend down that line into my foundation. Okay, when my foundation's done, I look pretty greasy and oily and, and gross, but we're going to stay that way for just a second longer. Like I said before, G20 cover effects. I take this, and I'll apply it the same way, or sometimes I'll just draw it on into that V pattern. and then up into the forehead and a little bit down the nose. I'll take a damp beauty blender and then I'll start to blend that out and I go up to the nose just so that it makes this nose skinnier because I've got a pretty wide nose and any sort of trick that can help, I will take it. <laughs> okay, and then I'll take the remainder that's on the beauty blender and I'll start going down to my neck because I don't like too much product on my neck because I find that you have to go further back and down and and just like if I can make the transition supernatural, that is the best for me. Okay, this stage, I take the Beauty Blender again and I take Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I just start beating it in. I usually don't bake every morning because I find that this stays enough for me. And this gives you just a nice matte finish. And then I'll take the powder down to the neck as well. We are smooth and we are highlighted. Uh, whew, I got a lot of dust around me. Uh, the next step I usually do. Okay, so I'll take this NYC Sun and Bronze Contour Bronzing Powder in the color Fire Island Tan and a Morphe Contour Brush. And I'll just swish it around. I'll make the fish face on my cheekbones and flick up. I usually don't go too heavy with the contour just because I find that sometimes less is more when you're doing everyday daily makeup. Then I'll take it into my temples area just because it's a little bit more masculine to take the whole thing here into the temples to square off the forehead. But if you are doing a more feminine look, you would want to round off the forehead. So I'll take this up into my hairline. Some days, depending on what I'm doing, I will do a little nose contour just to make this nose snatched. So I'll go into the center of it because it's a little bit darker with another Morphe brush, similar to the first angle brush where I line the eyebrows. And I will just start to draw a line a little bit inward. Okay, and once I have the line here, I'll just start to blend it down a little bit. Sometimes with my finger. The next step I'll usually do is take this angle brush from Anastasia Beverly Hill again and the product a little bit and just take some off the cap and start to smoke it into the lash line. And then at the corners just flick it up a little bit. For the everyday I don't wear too much of a liner but this just like makes the eye open up a little bit more uh, and a little bit more intense and a little darker. Highlighter is a fairly new thing for me. Um, that's why I just decided to start cheap and just take this e.l.f. highlighter and the e.l.f. highlighting brush and I try and get as much as possible into this brush. Apply it as needed. I like to take it up into the, the arch underneath my brow just because I think that that's a nice place to highlight just to give emphasis to the brow bone and then sometimes a little bit above it the tip of the nose to give it a lift. The Cupid's bow, even though I have a beard there. Okay, so for a final step, I usually take whatever mascara, this is Scandal Eyes, um, and I use just the smallest amount of it, so I'll wipe it off on the edge. And I really will only just once through. And then I'll take my finger and I'll take off all the excess product. Okay, that pretty much completes the makeup part of my morning routine. I usually 
then spend another 25 minutes styling my hair, which I will do right now, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, this is it. Style of hair, makeup done, brows on fleek. It took me a while to make this video because I wanted to make sure I had all the lights and I wanted to make everything look as professional and cool as possible, even though this is the same thing I'll do every single day of my life. But I wanna share it with you guys so that you can also experiment with makeup and try it out. And if you're not wearing makeup already, if you're just like looking to get into it, then maybe this is a good beginner tutorial for just like an everyday look. But there'll be more advanced ones to come and this is just a jumping point. If you're already a fan of the artwork I make, well, I'm still gonna be posting them here, but I'm also gonna do some vlogs and some makeup tutorials just because it's more artwork and I like to always be making things. So follow and subscribe here or at The Photorealist on Instagram to see updates and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.